Yeah, you know, rough outing. Uh, a lot of elevated pitches in the strike zone. Um, you know, there, there were strikes, uh, but the command within the strike zone was lacking. Uh, a lot of hard contact early. Uh, we, we come right back after a couple of innings, tie things up. But, um, you know, we're going through the top of the order the third time, and it was time to make a move to the bullpen. And unfortunately, you know, bottom line of this game tonight is we, we couldn't put up enough zeros. That's to be determined. Uh, right now, yes. Uh, but unless something changes that I'm unaware of right now, uh, that I'm sure it will be up for discussion. John, obviously you have to balance you know, Joe's performance with extending the bullpen the way you had to tonight. How did that factor in, in pulling Joe in the fourth? Well, it felt like the way we were swinging about, we were, we were going to score some runs tonight. Uh, this is a team that's come in here with a lot of confidence and is swinging about well of late. Uh, we're showing signs early in that ball game. We, we took a number of good swings against Danks. Uh, felt like if we had any ability to put up a couple of consecutive zeros, there was a, a real good possibility we're on the right side of things as we get deeper in the ball game. Uh, unfortunately, that didn't work out. The pitch mix has been a big focus of Joe. What did you think of the way he used his pitches tonight? Well, he didn't get a chance to get through secondary stuff. You know, there's ten pitches on the ten pitches thrown, and you know there, there's a couple of runs already on the board. So uh, second inning, uh, started to get a couple of breaking balls in the mix a little bit more. Uh, but um, I just really never had a chance to settle in on this one. Just with the way, oh, no, go ahead, go ahead. Just with the way the first started, um, there were two triples hitting, hitting the brave. Like, is there anything? Do you, do you look to make sure he's not shaking up? Or do you, do you do anything different? He's not shaking no, up. Not shaking up, but just kind of like rattled. Or, or, or is he still composed at that point? Again, he, he couldn't get into any kind of rhythm and establish the strike zone. He, he came out. Uh, and threw pitches up in the strike zone. So the, the ability to get the ball down, get the ball out of the middle of the plate, he didn't get a chance to early on. John? You would know it's on the trade. Well, unfortunately, the trade signifies uh, a player that helped us win a World Series two years ago. And when, when you take one of those players off this roster, um, you know, you're, you're kind of building towards the future. And, and that's disappointing. Um, We'll miss Vic. Vic went through a lot of physical challenges here, uh, and yet every time he was on the field, he gave everything he had. Uh, I'll miss him personally, uh, but he's, he's got a chance to go to a contender. Cool. Um, just with Napoli as a Jackson, I mean, obviously, I think it was frustrating with the second or third pitch he did that, but he goes to helmet, it kind of kicks up and hits. Uh, yeah, there was no intent on, on the helmet hitting him. Equipment hits an umpire, it's their immediate prerogative to eject the player. Uh, we need a nap to stay in the game. Uh, and unfortunately, the helmet hits him, he's ejected. But that, with Nap, um, you know, he's, he's been frustrated for a while. He'll sort of express it, you know, he'll show his frustration. But is there a point where, you know, you got to say, hey, you know. Yeah, there's always a line of composure that's got to be held. Uh, and unfortunately, the helmet bounced up and hit him. Jen? What do you uh, want to see out of Rusnay this time, this time? He's going to get uh, regular at-bats, uh, so I thought he had very good at-bats tonight. Uh, takes a walk, uh, base hit through the six-hole. Um, you know, it, it's a matter of getting some consistent repetition at this level, which uh, that hasn't been there to date. John, do you think you're able to do what you did in 13 without Shane? No, uh, and I could say that probably about a number of players. But Shane was a, a vital cog in our offense, certainly a gold glove defender in right field. You know, arguably played right field here as well as anyone that's ever worn a uniform. Um, he, he brought energy every day, uh, to an, a very instinctual player. Um, and, and he was the main reason we won that World Series. Or John, he, even though he had an awareness in the last week or so that this could happen, what's that conversation like? Um, he, he was disappointed. He didn't want to leave uh, in, in, in general. Uh, and yet, leaving, you know, the one thing about Vic, you know, whether in Philadelphia, he became very attached to Philadelphia. Uh, in, in similar ways, he felt very attached to Boston. Uh, and you know, he's, he's a unique player in that sense, in that he feels a, a bond to the city in which he plays. He gives his heart and soul when he walks on the field. Uh, he takes a lot of pride in the uniform that he wears for a particular city, and that was the case here with the Red Sox uniform. Can we 
we assume there, will, there might be other moves in the next four days? Not that I'm aware of, Johnny. 